Have you ever heard of Kiowa Island in South Carolina? Well, I hadn't until I booked an escorted tour for seniors that stayed at the Sanctuary Resort on Kiowa Island, South Carolina. It turns out that Kiowa Island is a barrier island off the coast of South Carolina. It's about 25 miles southwest of Charleston, South Carolina, and it's predominantly known as a golf and beach resort. Hi, this is Sandy from Sandy Over 70. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, I hope that you'll subscribe and click the little bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. My videos cover a range of topics from travel, places to visit, fitness and health, beauty and fashion, and planning a move to a retirement community. So there's a little something for everybody. I hope you'll join me. I did a video on the Sanctuary Resort, and I'll put the link below in the description. So what else is there to do besides wandering around the beautiful Sanctuary Resort? Well, if you play golf, you're in luck because there are five golf courses on the island. And of course, in the summertime, there's 10 miles of unspoiled beach to enjoy. But we were there in November. So what else is there to do? Let me tell you, that although some of it required leaving the island, everything was fairly close. We visited the Charleston Tea Garden, the only tea garden in North America. This one is owned by the Bigelow family. Sound familiar? The tea garden is located on picturesque Wadbula Island in the heart of the Low Country, just a few miles south of the historic city of Charleston. There is no admission charge except for the trolley tour. The trolley ride was fun. We saw hundreds of thousands of tea bushes stretching out acre after acre. The trolley took us to the tea factory, the greenhouse, and the gift shop. I don't usually buy anything in gift shops, but I bought this beautiful scarf that matched my jacket perfectly. Kiowa Island has easy access to Charleston, South Carolina, and we spent one of the days there on a guided city tour. Charleston, the South Carolina port city founded in 1670, is defined by its cobblestone streets, horse-drawn carriages, and pastel antebellum houses. Next, we drove around the campus of the Citadel, the Military College of South Carolina. There is both a military program where cadets live on campus as well as non-military programs with 23 majors. I'm here at the Fleet Landing restaurant here in Charleston, South Carolina. We just placed our order and it's really funny because we didn't get a menu and she said just scan that little placard on the table and none of us from the tour group knew how to do that but I think we have to learn pretty quickly because that's the future of menus but we eventually got a paper menu and I've ordered the she crab soup so I'm sure it'll be really good here in Charleston the Charleston market seems to go like three city blocks it's full of all kinds of things to buy I'm standing in front of an aquarium that is 42 feet deep and I'm actually 30 feet below the surface of the water.
We're at the ocean course on Kiowa Island in South Carolina. Can you imagine playing golf on this golf course right on the ocean? It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't even imagine how much these golf course homes cost. They're also oceanfront. The Angel Oak Tree is located on John's Island. Unfortunately, it was closed the day we were there, but we did get to see it through the fence. It's considered to be the largest live oak tree east of the Mississippi, estimating to be 300 to 400 years old. Mepkin Abbey is a Trappist monastery in Berkeley County. It has collected hundreds of creches over the years and displays a small number of them every year. A creche is a model of the nativity scene. Here we viewed over a hundred creches and were encouraged to vote for our favorite. On one of the nights, we visited the Holiday Festival of Lights in James Island Park. This was their 32nd year, and there were over 2 million lights. And sometimes we just wanted to watch the sunset. I hope you enjoyed this video, and maybe you'll think about a visit to Kiowa Island. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and have a great day.